Hello guys, it's Anjay here and in this video, I'll show you guys how to update your Moto E to 5.1 build and if you are on 4.4.4 or if you are on 5.0.2, that doesn't matter, you can follow the same method to update your phone to 5.1 ROM and if you have 5.0.2 installed on your phone, then simply follow the method which I'll follow after I flash 5.0.2 As you can see, I am currently running KitKat So if you are running on KitKat, then you can follow the steps right now so to update from KitKat to 5.0.2, you'll need to download a file of 341 MB and all the files which I'll be using in this video will be linked in the description box below so don't worry about that and as soon as you download the zip file which I'll give in the description box below simply download that file and put it in your external SD card I'll just show it to you guys So as you can see this is the zip file which you need to download if you are on 4.4.4 to update to 5.0.2 build and do not change the name of the files because that's very important and after you put it in your SD card one so as you can see I have not put it in internal storage I have put it in external SD card do remember this that you have to put it in external SD card and after you put the file in external SD card simply go into settings then go into about phone then go into system updates so as you can see over here it will say new system software is available and uh, this is because we did not change the zip file name and this is very very major step that do not change the zip file name and put it in the external SD card and I did not get any system update when I was on KitKat so I had to do it manually so after this simply select yes I am in and now as you can see it will say copying update and this may take a little bit of time so do not worry and let this thing get completed by itself so as you can see uh, it says install system update and it just took uh, 5 minutes or uh, less than 5 minutes so simply select install now and now it will shut down and in it will install the 5.0.2 update so so as you can see it is saying installing system update so the update which we had put in external SD card is getting updated so guys as you can see the installation of the 5.0.2 update has been completed and now the phone is booting up so it's saying android is upgrading uh, optimizing app so by this it is optimizing the dalvit cache and uh, if, and if you do not know what is dalvit cache in android is then i'll give a link of a video in the description box below in which i have explained what is dalvit cache and what is cache is do watch that video because that's what every android user go through but uh, may not know about dalvit cache so guys as you can see we have successfully updated to 5.0.2 and we can just confirm that by going into settings so as you can see this is the 5.0.2 that's the lollipop and uh, we have retained all the applications which were present earlier like Wink Music, uh, Gmail, Chrome all the applications that were present earlier are present and no data is wiped so do not worry about that and after we have successfully flashed 5.0.2 you need to install a 13 MB update so once again copy that 13 MB update into external SD card and after that go into settings once again I have already copied the 13 MB zip file and after that go into system updates and it will say checking for system update and it will say new system software is available and after that simply select yes I am in once again as we selected earlier then it will just say install system update select install now and it will say restart in 8 seconds 7 seconds 6 seconds 5 seconds and it will get restart and it will install the update automatically so as this is a small update it will get installed uh, fast and the earlier update that is the first update of 5.0.2 almost took 15 to 20 minutes for me to install it may take longer time if you have more apps installed I uninstalled some of the applications uh, just to make this process faster so if you want the process to be completed faster simply uninstall some of the apps which are like completely unnecessary for you and which you do not use and you can download it later on so guys even the 13 MB update got installed and it's still on 5.0.2 so we need to update it to 5.1 so copy the third zip file in your external SD card I'll just show it to you guys so as you can see this is the third zip file which is of 209 MB simply put it in your external SD card and once again follow the same steps like go into about phone go into system updates so it will say that new system software is available so if you do not get these things then do cross check the zip file names and make sure that they are right after that select yes I'm in and it, uh, it will just copy update as it did for the last two zip files also 
and after 15 to 20 minutes it will get installed automatically and after that we will be having 5.1.1 so as you can see we are still on 5.0.2 so the process completed pretty fast so simply select install now so it will restart in 6 seconds 5 seconds and the update will get installed automatically so do not worry just keep the device like this and just wait and if you do not have enough charging then do keep the phone on charger and then only do the update so guys the third zip that is the 5.1 zip is also installed so let's go into settings once again and if we go into about phone then you will be able to see that android version is 5.1 now so we have successfully updated to 5.1 and after this if you get any update to 5.1.1 or any bug fixing update then simply follow the exact same method and if any new update comes for the Moto E first generation then I'll give the link of that in the description box below just check that out and just flash it normally as we flashed the three updates so this is pretty much it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and if you have any doubts suggestions or queries regarding this process then do let me know about that in the comment section below I'll surely try to answer your queries so thank you guys thank you for watching